Hi everybody! It's me again, International Master Sopika Goramishvili here for you on Chess 24. I'm completely sure that all of you are following the World Chess Championship match and you all know the results. Both games, there were played two rounds and both games were drawn. Um, I think that um, game first was really interesting and uh, Magnus was really pushing very hard. But of course, Sergei is great defender and he had no problems to draw that game. Also, the choice of the opening of Magnus was very interesting because he chose the Trumpovsky line and everybody was like, oh, Come on, why why Trumpovsky? We were all waiting for some kind of theoretical battle and for the first game especially, but Magnus just went Trumpovsky. And on Twitter I read a lot of um, jokes about not Trumpovsky line, but being the match um, the matches held in New York and Magnus chose the Trump of line. <laughs> so that was quite funny. Thank you, Magnus, for playing the Trumpovsky line and people had really a lot of fun with that. I'm really looking forward for uh, the coming uh, games because um, it's going to be really exciting and I'm really waiting for some hard battle on uh, the chessboard. Today is rest day. Uh, tomorrow they will play the third game, so we should play Blitz against me. Today is, bl well, today is rest day, so let's have banter Blitz. Once again, who are new on the show, please challenge me for 5-minute Blitz games. I'm choosing uh, premium members, I'm playing against uh, premium members for 5-minute Blitz games. Please do not challenge me for 3-minute Blitz games. I know I'm saying that in every show, but um, well, <laughs> I still get the challenges for 3 minutes, so please do challenge me for 5-minute Blitz games. I see a lot of challenges for now. So let's choose one of you and wish me good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm choosing premium members, five minute blitz game, and for first game, it's going to be Brain Boy. The name, nickname seems really interesting, so I am playing with Black Pieces. I hope you see the board without any problems. And there we go. Knight of three. Okay, usually I play d5, but right now I'll play knight of six. And now I'll go d5, bishop g2, and bishop g4. This line I played very, very, very long ago, like, I don't know, five years ago or maybe even more. Um, I think it's quite solid line, but um, of course I'm not sure what's going on now, nowadays. I'm just trying to play um, some normal moves like developing. Uh, what, what I like about the position is that I have my bishop already out, so I have these e6, d5 and c6, but uh, the main problem of this structure is that the bishop is usually on c8. So I like very much that my bishop is on um, f5. And um, I'll try to develop. Queen b3, that's pretty interesting. He's giving up his... Um, central pawn, let's say, but I don't know how good it is for him. I have an option to take bishop e5, d takes e5, knight e5, queen b7, rook b8, queen a7, knight c4, or I can go something like he can go queen a6, then I'll go... I really don't want to give two bishops, though. I think I would go for knight e5. d takes e5, bishop e5, 
queen b7 and something like probably I'll castle because if queen c6 then I have rook c8 and if cd5 cd5 and my pawn is not hanging anymore um so I think that's pretty okay for me I'll go here queen a5 with some ideas to maybe to trap this queen but it won't be that easy of course um, I don't want to take on c3, of course, because then he would get two bishops and um, for the pawn, I'm not sure if I want it. Okay, here I can play something like rook a b8. I guess knight d5 is not a problem. Hope so. Knight d5. I think I would take knight d5. And bishop a5, rook b7. Bishop d5, e d5, rook d5. Okay, he played it. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So if I take queen d2, then he takes knight f6 with check. If I take rook b7, then he takes... Oh, but what, what's happening on e d5? That's interesting. e d5, bishop a5 loses because of rook b7, so probably she will take, well, sorry, he will take um, queen b8. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. Knight d5, what I don't like is that he can take queen b8 anyway. And if queen d2, then he takes knight f6, gf, queen, bishop f6, and rook d2. Okay, I can try to take rook b7. Maybe I'm miscalculating something, but um, I think that's the correct way. I'll take bishop f6 afterwards. I did not like knight d5, knight d5, queen b8. That's why I didn't go for it. Probably, well, he should definitely take knight f6, bishop f6, bishop a5. Now my rook is hanging on b7, so I would take rook b2. And I like my position, but I'm not sure that this was the correct way. If he goes e4, then I'll go bishop g4. I think that's what he has to do. Um... And he's guessing all the moves I'm telling. <laughs> okay, f3, I go bishop h5. I still think that my position is not bad, not bad at all. Um, he cannot go rook a b8, and that's good for me, because uh, then I would take on a2. And otherwise I will just uh, double on b-file, and um, he might try the rook db1, but bishop d4 might be, or no, I would just move my rook, and then uh, the rook on a1 would be trapped, so this would not be a problem. And let's see how it goes. Bishop c7, that's, that's interesting, but, okay, rook c2, rook c1 is his idea. And I can take rook a2 afterwards, so... Mm. 
I think I prefer to have my rook on c8 and after rook c1 if rook a c1 well I guess rook a c1 is the move though maybe he can try e5 here e5 would be really smart e5 I go Ooh, that's tricky that's really tricky okay nice nice I can give a check of course um, or I can go rook a2 but then e5 okay I have to be pretty quick so better to give the check he went there I'll take here and I'll play something like this After rook b8, probably it's pretty much drosh position, but I'll still try something. I don't know what though. I don't know for what I'm playing, but yeah, it's gonna be draw. Okay, I take here, I go king d6. I'll go this. Ooh, I have pretty little time, so I have to be really quick. Okay, better to go a5. Ouch! That's bad luck. That was pre-move and real bad luck. And I don't have so much time, so I don't know what I'm playing for. I'm wasting time. Okay. That was good luck for you, brain boy. And he's Indian, and I have terrible score against Indians. My goodness. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm really interested with this knight d5 moment. So I'll I'll try to analyze here. What I thought. So I can take this knight with knight d5, with e d5 and queen d5. Queen d5 obviously is not good because of bishop d5 and then I'm exchange down. Um, after e d5, what I didn't like was queen b8 and I was a little confused here. I think I'm still exchange down. Nothing can help me. And after knight d5, I also did not like this move. This queen b8 is so annoying. Extremely annoying. I guess I'm not... I'm not... Um, miscalculating anything, because here he just takes, takes, and after queen f4 I'm just exchange down once again or maybe I have this move and he's losing the exchange anyway so what he has to do is he has to go here and not on uh, f4 yeah that doesn't look good so what I did was oh, it was just a decision of um, probably very equal equal uh, oh sorry equal position if I went rook c2 maybe that was the best best decision because now he has to move the rook or play e5 but anyway I'll take here and I will have oops sorry I will have extra pawn so my um, best chance I think was to play rook c2 rook c1 and then take on a2 but I was a bit uh, scared of this one and if I go here, then rook d7, I didn't want to allow this. But maybe it's no problem. 
I go a5 next, so it would be quite quite interesting. But okay, uh, let's go to another challenge and see who challenged me. So, oops, that's not what I want. Five minute premium members starts 17 from Germany. And I'm playing with white pieces. I, I heard a lot of times from you guys that you wanted me to play e4. So I'm trying to play e4. The French, I don't have any experience here. I just know some games and um, I'm not I'm not a great fan of it. <laughs> but let's try. I know I have to take here, play knight of three. This is very very um, famous line, but I don't know exactly what what I'm playing for. <laughs> okay, queen c7, maybe knight c3 is okay. And something like bishop d2 and rook c1. Interesting here would be to play queen b6. Attacking the b2 pawn and also keeping an eye on d4. So maybe after queen b6 I have to play knight a4. But maybe it's good for me. So what black should do here is, yeah, to develop bishop d7. That's what I thought also. Um, I would go rook e1. Probably rook e8 would be logical for black to play. And probably you guys are more experienced in French than me, so you can write some advices in chat. How should I continue the game? There are, of course, typical plans and everything. But I'm not very aware of it. So I'll, I'll just play what I think is correct. Um, I'll go something like bishop b1 to have to create kind of battery. And I'll go bishop g5 just to just to not provoke well if i provoke h h6 then it would be great for me he can play bishop f4 but uh as far as i know black are not very happy to exchange the dark squared bishops here because then this hole would be not very nice uh this is very very interesting because now I don't have bishop h7. Though I know that it's very um, it's very often that they sacrifice this um, pawn on h7. Now knight h2 seems to be very interesting. And I don't know what to do after knight h2. Knight h2, bishop h2, king h1, rook f2, queen h4. I can play but uh, moves like h6 will it no I'll just take bishop h6 gh and queen g6 if g6 then bishop g6 should be interesting hg queen g6 and yeah that's what he played and what I was calculating so will he grab the pawn or not that's really interesting I have no idea, but what I know is that his king might not be that great anymore. So, um, after queen h5, which is obvious threat now, 
Also, queen d3 might be interesting, but then g6, and I don't have any bishop g6 uh, sacrifices. Uh, I don't know if he dares to take on f2, and he did. And what I was thinking here is queen h5. What was he going, what, what was his, what was in his mind to play against queen h5? Let's check. Of course, after g6, bishop g6, hg, queen g6 probably is not to the end of the world. But h6, I think, is really... After bishop h6, I would just give a check for the moment. And play rook f1. King f8 is the only move. Oh, no, that's a, that's mate, no? Yeah. King of eight. He should have played king of eight. And after rook f1, which I thought is the move, maybe queen g3, he can try. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm not winning here. No, but I can I can take this one here. So queen g3 is not is not a move. Um, bishop g3 also not because I'll take and pin this bishop once again. And after rook f1, maybe rook f1, rook f1. But then it's gonna be horrible here. Here, in worst case, I can just take here, and that, that's obviously very good for me. Well, very interesting game. Indeed, very interesting game. I'm just going to look at the chat. So, if you have any questions, please do write me. I'm going to check uh, the chat because I want to be sure that everything is going fine. You guys see the board and um, all is good. And I guess it is so. And, yeah. If you have any questions, please do ask me and do write on chat. Alright, let's see another challenge. And most important is that I do not forget to show you the board. So I'll try to be very attentive. And after choosing the challenger, I'll, uh, I will go to show you the board. Okay, Luke. I'm going to play Luke from Germany. And there we go. I'm playing with white pieces. I have the board, so I'll try my favorite move here, C4. I really like this move because it's very easy. It's just structural. Uh, position English opening for many it's really annoying like what does he play English oh, I really hate that one <laughs> okay so um, I am usually not uh, developing my knight on f3 this um, early um, what I don't like is that when I go bishop e3, then knight d4 is coming. So first I'll go like this. Queen d7, I, I faced this one. It's a very interesting move. Queen d7, uh, the idea is, uh, is to play b6 afterwards. And no, okay, now. <laughs> but here I wanted to play d4. Which is obviously not bad for black because he has some kind of hedgehog structure. And what can I say here? Well, the position is pretty okay for both sides, I think. Black has a little bit weak d6 pawn, but if he manages to play d5 or any other 
blow up in on the queen side or king side or in the center i think it's gonna be okay for black so um i'll play rook c1 here oops i just blundered the pawn i think after knight d4 bishop d4 he can take rook c4 so i forgot forgot about that ah pretty bad okay i have to take this one Unfortunately, I cannot do anything. Mm, okay, let's try to have some compensation. I'm not sure I have any compensation though, because it's just pawn down. Looks like just pawn down. Um. Okay, I'll try to play something like this. I'm not sure what is my idea with this move, but at least I don't give rook dc8 to the chance of uh, playing rook dc8 because then uh, queen, sorry, uh, the pawn will be hanging. But what is this move? After knight b5, what does he want to play? It's not that clear for me. Um, knight b5, rook c1, I can play knight c7, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think I'll just take rook c1 and rook c1. And afterwards maybe queen b8 and i can play something like rook c7 if a6 then i will take on e7 and if not then it's not going to be great for black let's say rook e8 i can just play knight d6 okay i'll play rook here I think it's just very good for me now because after queen b5 I'll take rook e7 and f7 is hanging and bishop b7 is hanging so once you defend the f7 pawn then I'll get the bishop so it really looks bad for black now yeah he took on b five but after rookie seven i think it's pretty lost for black okay i'll grab this one queen b2 rook a7 i'm not afraid of any perpetuals because there is none of them so looks good so far, so good. <laughs> okay. B5. Oh, I'll get this one as well. <clears throat> I'm not sure that he's able to do that after queen f4 rook c1 i have king h2 always and this uh bishop on g2 is pretty good at defending the uh king and and it's an extra piece so i'm not worried here <laughs> all right okay i can just get this one or play something else yeah he resigned and it was very interesting choice of the opening with b6 but i think that still i would pr prefer to go knight d4 at this moment uh, obviously i cannot take knight d4 because of uh, the fork and afterwards to play knight c6 and then play b6 because 
um, I cannot go also b4 because of knight f3 so what I have to do I'm I'm not planning to go bishop d4 because of cd4 and knight e2 after knight c6 I don't think that um, it's worth of giving two bishops so after b4 let's say I can play like this um, I don't know I'm not big fan of this position for white so I think knight d4 was better chance uh, for black than b6 but of course after b6 I did not have any um, any advantage or something till he blundered this queen c7 h5 queen f4 and queen c7 was a real blunder uh, though what I said about the compensation uh, that I was trying to have some compensation for the pawn is that the king and the dark squares we uh, around the king is a bit tiny bit weak I think and also I'm having some pressure on uh, d6 pawn so I don't know if it was my move what is my next move probably it was better that he just goes like this not to have any problems but maybe here I'll go like e5 and if bishop g2 let's say then queen f6 and I don't know how it looks I really don't know about this or maybe rook d6 okay rook d6 queen b7 is there so um like this knight d5 is the move and here I am just pissed down so congratulations miss tactics you really calculated very well um okay if i take here here de5 is not good because then i'm getting this knight so maybe this is better but anyway black has just an extra pawn so with queen f4 um I didn't have any specific idea but um, as you can see black found a way to blunder so it's always good to give the chances <laughs> to your opponent to blunder okay let's um, let's see another challenger and it's going to be it's going to be Marinov from Spain. Hola! <laughs> I'm waiting for your move. I love Spanish language. I really think it's very very beautiful. I don't speak it fluently but I do speak it a bit. Ooh, he just uh, disconnected so bad luck. I have to abort the game and Let's choose another one. Okay, what about Monchas? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, what about Monchas? Once again, from Spain, I don't see the countries uh, while I choose the challengers. So that's why I'm surprised always. Like, oh, he's Spanish as well. Okay, Nidorf. It's going to be Nidorf. A6 and we are playing the Nidorf opening. The one which I love very much and I'll try to play with E5. I play here with Queen C7 and with E5 also. I had some classical game um, with this move but usually I'm playing this in blitz because it's not so known and um, everybody's like taking some time here um, it is very interesting and it is worth of analyzing though I'm not recommending it in uh, the in my series so this is going to be a really um, real challenge, let's say so. Um, I 
Okay, I'll try to take here. Bishop f2. I'll take here as well. I am being pretty, pretty greedy. And I know that. But let's see what happens. Rook b3, I go queen a5. I'm not sure if bishop f2 was precise. I was thinking about rook, uh, long castle. But if he has something concrete there, then of course it was very good move. But if not, then I'll just have some extra pawns in my back. Let's see. Let's see what Manchas 56 will come up with. I want to play knight e5 maybe here or g6. Knight d6 I don't think is... Maybe maybe it's the way to continue the game because um, I don't see... Let's say bishop c4 I would go knight e5. Looks good for me. Knight d6, bishop d6, queen d6. I have queen e5. Interesting move. Um, if he wants to change the queens, then it's going to be good for me because I would have uh, still an extra pawn. And if he doesn't want, and let's say he goes um, queen a3, but these things didn't happen at all. Okay, then I will just play like this. Castle. Now I can take here and play bishop e7. This is pretty annoying that... Um, maybe I shouldn't take and maybe I should just go g6. Knight d4 probably and bishop g7. What about this? I hope that um, none of my pieces will be trapped. I just, I just said it, and oh my god! <laughs> okay, bad luck, bad luck. I'm not sure if I have any chance to. thinking about knight e4 let's say bishop e4 and knight c4 knight c4 queen e2 okay i have to try this i guess so because otherwise it's gonna be a disaster for me Let's try. I'm not losing the queen, I guess, but it's really scary, really scary. Very, very scary because, okay, knight c4. If you hear it's Daniel crying, he sees that my position sucks and he's like, oh, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I wanted to play queen e5 here. Because if I play knight b6, let's say, then I'm really afraid of something like queen bishop d5 or bishop no, bishop c6, just it's over. Um, I guess it's over. Okay, I think that that, that should be. Queen c4. Bishop d4. Also possible. Okay, I'll go here. I don't have any other chance. I think queen c4 was better try because now I have... Am I just rook down? Ooh. I 
I think I've just rooked down. So I don't have anything actually. Too bad. Too bad. I would have nice pawn center, but it's not really what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, I'll just play a few more moves and I'm gonna resign and congratulate Mod Chess for a great game. And I have to tell myself that be attentive, you have to be more attentive. Okay. This looks so bad. This looks really bad. Rook b7 he wants. So I'll go d5. I will give a check. If I take here, there is rook c7, so I'll go here. Oh, it's just a mate. Just a beautiful mate. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Montchess. A really good game. Um, the moment I said that, I hope my queen won't be trapped or any of my pieces. And you played bishop b6, and I'm like, oh, was that possible? Was that actually possible a few moves ago? Like when I played knight e5? But here I would have this type of move. It still would be very good for um, black. Oh, sorry, for white. Because, okay, look at this. If I'm going to take with this, then... Um, though, I don't know, I don't know. Very interesting. I'm in very bad shape calculating today I have to do some tactic tests <laughs> um, okay knight e5 castle if bishop b6 then this was the only way what I showed and if castle g6 was a terrible move if I uh, I was planning to take here but still there is bishop b6 so actually it's a huge threat to take uh, to play bishop b6, so maybe I have to play something like this. It looks ugly though, because I don't have any development, um, and um, I was just greedy, grabbed the pawns, and eventually what white has is huge attack, um, everything developed, and a very, very big threats that you saw in the game. So it was indeed very nice um, game. Never enjoyed losing that much. <laughs> okay, so now let's go and let's play Cres Crescendum. Oh, I I'm not sure how to read this one, so I'll just. Leave it up to you guys. Again, Sicilian, but this time not Nidorf. Anti Sicilians. And Bishop d3, Bishop c4, c2. I'll go the usual plan. Oh, sorry. The usual plan here is um, to go d4 for. Um, white so I don't think that rookie one was uh, was what he wanted to play because d4 was quite uh, possible and this is the idea of c3 bishop d3 bishop c2 to have center with uh, c3 d4 um, okay I will go I will just play normal moves he has two bishops, that's true. We'll go for some queenside attack. And let's see how it goes. Okay. A4. 
A3. I'll go rook F B8 to have all my pieces um, on the queen side and trying to break with some B4. And uh, I don't know how good it is, but after B4 I would have D4 square. So let's say if he plays um, B4, A B4, C B4, C B4, Knight D4, Queen D1, Rook B4. I think it would be nice for me. But of course he shouldn't take on B4 twice. Let's say a, b, c, b, and d4. This is interesting. Mm, I'm not sure this is the way to play. Not really sure. Okay, I can take this one. Knight d4 is what I was thinking about. Bishop e3. I thought here b3 can be possible. Um, bishop d1, d5. Yeah, I, I, I like this one, so I would go for it. d5, if take, take knight d5, if not, maybe d4, maybe not, and I can keep the tension, looks very good for black, I have all what I wanted, very um, good center, the bishop on g7 will be very good because uh, it is looking at b2 pawn. This I thought I could take on e4. Take, take knight e4, bishop e f4 is obviously what he wants. I can go knight d6. Yeah, I think I can take it. I can take here as well. And play knight d6 and have um, extra pawn just interesting very interesting okay If I take everything, I have to take this one for sure. I can play knight f5, no, b8 rook is hanging, so I'll go like this and play e6. Bishop f3. Now problem is that he goes, okay, first I'll play this one, um, I, I did something wrong, oops. really did something wrong. I have an extra pawn but every piece now is on every pawn is on light squares which is not no good. Now he doubles and gets on the seventh. Oops. I 
I think he slipped his chance because now I have moves like knight h4, rook e5. I would go rook c5 here. Exchange everything if he goes rook d8. Otherwise, I want to play rook c2. Again, seems good for me. But of course, um, I think he had better way to play rather than um, playing on d file. Okay. I'll change everything here. I'll take this pawn. Rook b4, probably. I don't know. Rook b1, check. He goes. King h2, b2, rook, uh, bishop e4. But then I go rook e1. Okay, he takes. Mm, not so easy. Maybe I can... Mm, no, I can't place something like that. Okay, maybe I can place something like this. E5, knight d4. A4, knight d4. Yeah, this seems to be bishop d5, knight d4, rook b7. Not sure. Not really sure. He gets this f7 pawn. Don't know, don't know. Okay, I'll give it check. I'll go here. Go here. Now I want to play B2. Oh, I have just 18 seconds. This was not such a good idea. Okay, he could just take it. Ah, bad, 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 bad ideas. Very bad ideas. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm playing horrible. Okay, now I have to be oh, very quick, very, very, very quick. Okay. No! <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so, so bad. This, this is horrible. This is such a bad luck. I was, I was about to take the H3 pawn and say, okay, that's it. I have drawn my hands, but yeah. Time lo uh, I lost some time. Very bad for me. I definitely need to go to tactics trainer and play some and solve some tactics there for sure. Okay, another challenge. Let's choose somebody called Shadow Mate. And I'm with black pieces. I hope you see the board. But I don't know if it's worth of watching these games. Okay, of course, from the challenger side, it's very, very nice. Um, but I'm not shining today, that's for sure. Um, let's try to... Well, what is he doing? Okay. I'll still go like this. 
very weird opening choice from both of us. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go here. We'll try to trick him and pretend that knight d4 was a bad move because of knight d4 but after cd4 i'm winning the e4 pawn that's what i'm hoping for but no nobody does that everybody can calculate <laughs> okay e5 might be a problem, so, um, whoops, I'll go knight d7. I'm waiting for his move. I don't know if I want knight e5 or not because after f4 knight c4 doesn't seem so good so knight e5 I definitely don't want he can even not play f4 because of that this this is weird this is weird what he's doing I think it's pretty weird bishop a6 is one of um, One of the moves I'm thinking about right now. Or rook c8. Bishop a6, he could even play d3 or something like that. So it didn't have any big point. If knight d4, I'm thinking to take with the pawn to open up the c file and have some pressure there. And. Uh, Bishop b2, that's what I was thinking also. I would go something funky here and play f5. I don't know how good it is, but I want to try. <laughs> and I have to be very quick because today it seems that I'm not very good with the mouse. Um... I'll take with pawn here, I'll grab this one, and I'll take with pawn once again. Now I'm thinking maybe at some point I can play b5 or knight e5 to jump on c4 but in case the pawn is on f4 and not on f2 because then he can just play d3 um he decided to sacrifice the pawn which i'll just accept i guess it's fine to accept Oh, not that easy, he told me. I have a check. <laughs> Actually, I was going to take bishop c3 and I completely missed queen b3. So he could be even tricky and take d dc3 first. And then I would be like, oh, I would complain once again, telling how badly I played. <laughs> but I got lucky. Okay. Complicated position. So far, white's pieces are not developed and I could have a good center with e5 and let's say d5, d4 once the e5 pawn is protected. But um, he can play f4 here or d3 to control the e4 I would still go e5 I like this move to close the um, 
bishop. It would be interesting to try and play rook c3 though, but I'm not sure how good it would be. Okay, let's try to pin the knight. I like this pin very much because now it's... Um, I'm threatening to take uh, the bishop on c3 and after, uh, let's say, rook c1, queen b7. And I'm threatening to uh, play something like, I don't know, e4 maybe? Or anything that might help me to uh, get this one. Queen d1. Now he wants to play king g1. So I will play e4. I would take here and let's say knight g5. e3 is not exactly my intention. He wants knight e6. Though it's very interesting to play like h6, knight e6, rook e8, knight g7, e3, queen f3 he has, so that's not what I want. Hmm. Maybe rook e8. Maybe this is what I want. With the idea of h6. This was my idea. Oh, I just take here. He missed that I'm taking here. He should have taken on f6, but then bishop f6 and queen h5 does not help because I have bishop um, g5. It was pretty tense game. Um, I thought it would be better to play something like maybe f4 or knight f3 and after, okay, after c3 takes and dc3 would be much nicer here. But after this, I still like black's position because I have center. And yeah, knight f3, I think it was pretty big mistake because this is very nasty for um, for white. And after e4 maybe it was better to take here or not even take but maybe to go uh, knight d4. At least my f5 pawn is hanging and uh, knight e6 is the threat so uh, if I take here just king g1 and uh, I don't know, maybe queen d5, but then queen d3, and maybe I have to play directly uh, queen d5. But uh, still, it, it was best chance for white, and I think it's still very complicated. I am not sure what's going on. I can try to jump with the knight, let's say, knight d7 and knight e5. Looks good for black. I have to be honest and say that it looks good for black, but um, it was better to continue like this. Well, this was uh, the last game for today. As you know, I have an hour show. Thank you for participating. I have to apologize for my bad shape. Uh, I was not very uh, sharp today, very alert today. So what I have to try is uh, to go on chess 24 and um, train my tactics, solve the tactics and uh, try to recover from the flu, which I got right now <laughs> um, and I hope to see you very soon actually my show is um, very very soon um, I hope that uh, you will be there and uh, also I am hoping for some exciting games on world championship match and uh, let's follow the games and let's follow the match 
see you very soon and I'm wishing you a very very nice evening. Bye bye!